lost the second video. Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> no. Okay. That's nice. Did you get me in there? No audio. Let's come with the technical problem. <coughs> this is the biggest bummer, man. Let's close that door. <coughs> oh, I'm dying. <sighs> so don't fall out of your face. You're not eating breakfast. Okay. <laughs> right, let's just see. The webcam has just failed. We're using our secondary recording, which is our digital camera. Okay. Okay, folks, we're coming back to uh, our video number three. I think we have some slight technical problems today. We've got gremlins you know, in, in the works. Okay, right. First of all, question number one. Let's have a look what kind of questions we're going to be doing now. And we are going to be doing subtracting thirds, we do subtracting thirds in the same way you do subtracting algebra. Like terms with like terms. So for example, 14 root 5. So 14 lots of root 5 minus 6 lots of root 5. That is similar to saying 14a minus 6a. And that would normally give us, what's 14a minus 6a? 8a. 8a. Okay, so similarly, if you have 14 root 5 and you minus 6 root 5, you will have? We will have? 8 root 5. So we can add and subtract like terms when we're looking at thirds as well in a very similar, in, a, in an identical fashion to when we do with algebra. Okay. That's question number one. That's simplified right down. That's lovely. Number, uh, next one we're going to look at. We got 4 root 3 plus 9 root 6. Now, these two terms are not similar, are they? <coughs> now, can we simplify what's inside here? No, that's practical. Right. That won't simplify any further. You can't take anything out from there. Can we simplify the 6? Is there any square numbers in the 6 that we can pull out? That's what simplifying is all about. Can we, simpli can we take a square number out from 6? No. So at the moment, this third here won't simplify, nor will this one. And because they're two different types of thirds, can we add them together? Mm. No. So here the question is the answer. This is the question, and now it's also the answer. It won't simplify any further than that. So don't expect every time they give you a question for you to add or minus that you can actually do something with it. So don't go to the moon and come back on the question. Look at the question. Can it be done? We have 4 root 3 and 9, so that stays as it is. So question, our second example stays exactly as it is. Next question. Okay, the next question it looks pretty, pretty long. But let's now let's have a look. So Sundas, what do you realize here? These two are like terms. Okay, and what do we realize about this next one, Samia? That these two are also like terms. like terms. So we do the red ones together first. Now, as long as you keep the sign in front of it with it, when you move it, you're allowed to move it. So you have five root five 
minus 2 root 5, that will be the red sim part simplified. And then you have plus 4 root 3, which is this part, and you're going to add 7 root 3. Okay, so the brown part will simplify over here and the red part over here. So we have 5 root 5 minus 2 root 5, that will give us some of this. 3 root 5. 3 root 5. Okay, we have 4 root 3 plus 7 root 3. Okay, Anika? 11 root 3. That will give us. And you finish. Okay, are we happy with that, ladies? So some new things coming in. Okay, let's go. Let's let's do another question example. What's the example we're going to look at next is going to be. Okay. Right. I need some more space over here. Yeah. Okay. Alright, the next question I'm going to do on this side of the board, got some space, and the question is going to be root 75. We have root 75 plus 2 root 27 minus 5 root 108. Now what do we notice about these numbers inside here now? These numbers do contain square numbers in them. In the previous question they have already simplified, they had prime numbers in them so you couldn't do anything to them. But here we have to prep them up first. So, in the number 75, what square numbers does 75 contain? So it's 25 times by. So let's just put them up straight away. Okay? Now in 27, do you have any? What do you have in 27? Anika, what square numbers do you have in 27? Nine. Nine, and then what's left over? Three. Three. Okay, let's just keep the colours consistent. Okay, so me again this down to me? Yes. Get down as I'm doing it. So 75 is root 25 times by root 3, and 2 times by root 27 is 2 times by 9, root 9 times by root 3. Now, what about 108? Does anybody know here, just by looking at the number 108, what square numbers it contains? 12 and 9. Contains 12 and 9? Okay, so you want to split that first and this right over here. So 108 is 12 times by 9. nine. Now where does, are they? So we've got one obvious square number. Do you have any more square numbers in this? Any more square numbers in here? Oh. Yes. So in the number 108, what's spotted in here? 108 is 12 times by 9. Okay. And within 12 times by 9, then we have, how many square numbers do we have now? Two. Two. So we can write that as minus 5 times by, we're going to have root of 4 times by the root of 9 
time by the two to three. I'll turn them back into. Okay, so the brand numbers and the square numbers. Okay, are we happy with that so far? So in this question here, we're using the, the skills we learned in the first exercise. Coming through in our second exercise where we have to split them up into the factors, into the square factors. So here so far we haven't had to use the prime factorizing technique because 108 is familiar to us as a number. Okay. Right, let's start simplifying now. Root 25 gives us what? 5. So that gives us 5 root 3. What's root 9? 3. Okay. And we have 2 times by 3 will then give us? 6. 6 root 3. Okay, are you happy with that? If you see me writing anything down wrong, you say, sir, you made that mistake there, can you? Because when you're on the board, sometimes everything was correct. Okay? So we have root 9 will give you? 3. three. Root 4 will give you? 2. So we have 5 times by 3, 15. 15 times by 2? Okay, now, everything here seems to be in terms of... Do you know because there's a minus 5, doesn't it turn into... It doesn't turn like into negative numbers. If we, that's actually contained within the answer here. This part here. We've got minus 5 times by 3 times by 2. Right. And the minus, there's the minus there. Because okay. minus 5 times by 3 is minus 15. Minus 15 times by 2 is minus 30. Okay. So the symbol that we put here, I'm not copying that symbol down. But that is the symbol from that calculation itself. So if you had a minus from it else, it would become a positive. So, yes, we have, we have taken care of that minus in the answer. So we have 5 root 3. Now, everything here is now in terms of root 3. We have 5 root 3, add 6 root 3, minus 30 root 3. What's 5 root 3 add 6 root 3 first of all? No. That gives 11 root 3. Yeah? So we have 11 root 3 minus 30 root 3. And what does that give us? And don't worry about getting negative answers. Minus 19 root 3. Minus 19 root 3. Okay, and that's done. <coughs> so that question is slightly longer. Okay, so we split this first of all into its square number and other number. Split up into square number, split everything up. And then we simplified it, and then we simplified like terms, root threes with root threes, and with another root three, simplified it. So getting a minus answer is perfectly fine. Getting a minus fractional answer is also okay. Don't think just because you've got a negative answer, it's all wrong or made a mistake. And then you freak out the exam and run out. Okay? Right. That's the end of this video. Okay, now what I'd like you to do is do the exercise. Those of you... Uh, the sheet? Okay. Okay, ladies, I'd like you to try now exercise 2C. Exercise 2C. Let me look at the time when I'm going right. Don't, don't move it, don't move it. Can you see it? Exercise 2C. Can you see it? No, you can only see up to there. That's okay, you can see that one. Okay. Okay, folks, right. Uh, ladies, I want you to do exercise 2C. Do one question, miss one question, start from number one. Number one, three, five, seven. Do those questions, please. And then when we restart the video, we'll go through some, some of those answers. Okay, that's the end of this one video. Okay, please join us in the next part for the answers. When we look at exercise 2C. Hey, what's Okay, time to stop the video.